Ahoy Rovers! Well, it was pretty exciting. In the last episode, we managed to get the two sides on. And uh, let me just add up how much time that really took. It took about three days to scarf and glue the two panels together. And then it took a further two days to apply them to the side and glue them up. So we're looking at about five days work to do this. It probably could have gone a little bit faster if you had maybe more space and more clamps. But overall, I'm really happy with that progress. I thought that went pretty well. Now the next step is the bottom of the boat. So we'll be, uh, I've already, while I was doing the sides, I started laminating up some of the bottom and we're going to apply two layers to the bottom. So one layer will go on that's been scarfed and then a second layer will be applied over top and it'll just be butted together. So we'll end up with a bottom that's three quarters of an inch thick. Again, this will move pretty rapidly. We're at one of those stages in the boat building where things do move fast. Now bear this in mind, things don't always move this fast in the boat building world. There will be times where it looks like practically nothing is happening, but right now, let's enjoy it while we're moving ahead so rapidly. Anyway, you guessed it, time to crack on. Okay, so Rovers, what I'm looking at here is the bottom and we uh, have laminated two sheets together and it, the bottom is a little wider than four feet, as you can see. So we are going to need this extra piece right here put onto the side. Uh, I'm just trying to gauge because the boat curves in, I'm trying to gauge where the best spot is to have this. So I've got a tape here and We'll just move up to the front here. So this is where my uh, scarf is and I plan to scarf the final piece onto there. So from this point, okay, I need about six foot 10. And at this frame right here, I have just under four feet. So this would be a good spot, even though this will have to span over there and this sheet I'll have to scarf and put it up to here. At least at this scarf joint, I can have a four foot sheet centered and that will follow the curve of the rest of the boat. Then after that, the next sheet, because there's two thicknesses, the next sheet will butt the joint at least a foot further back and I don't know if I'll have four feet there. I might. I may have to move this forward a bit so that I can have the next joint a foot back and still have four feet. Anyway, these are the things you have to think about when you're uh, doing up this bottom because we want it to be two layers thick but we also want to have a continuous curve and that is the reason why the lower edge, the edge that's going to be uh, on the interior of the boat. That's the reason I'm scarfing it so that we have a really nice curve as a base and then the second layer will just butt the joints together. As long as they're offset from the scarf by a foot, we're going to be really strong, stronger than, you know, the ply itself. Anyway, now you know what I'm pondering. I will have a solution after I think about this for a few minutes. Time to crack on. Mrs. Rover is giving me a hand here. We're cutting 
a little strip of plywood that was left over from the panels that are already attached to the hull. So we had two of those left over and I'll be using those on the bottom. I just need to trim them to length. And later I'll prep it for a scarf joint. And here I'm prepping just the other half of the scarf joint I just told you about. And this piece of plywood will be the piece of plywood that will go right to the bow and it's on the bottom of the boat. Well now it's time to glue up those scarfs. Once all of this is together, it will form one layer of the bottom of the boat. So Brian, I think what the plan is, we're just going to lift it so far and then somehow get on the low, we'll get it as high as we can. So here's a little oversight. 
uh, when I was placing the bottom on the boat, I forgot to bevel the forward frame. So I'm doing that with a power plane right now. And that'll let the plywood sit a whole lot more nicely. It'll take the curve of the bottom and help us get the ply right to the stem. It's the leading edge that it's leaning on. It's the back edge of this one. Well, that's what I meant, the, the yeah. back edge. Yeah. I'm clear on the front edge the whole way. That's good. Thanks, guys. It's an honor to add two new names to the Benefactor's bulkhead. Ronald Canizares and Matthew Anthony. Now these folks have made a donation of $100 US or more, and their names will be written on a bulkhead inside Wave Rover and will travel with me on her circumnavigation. These funds are much appreciated. I'd also like to take a moment to welcome on board two new patrons, Mirion Ellis and Cody. Now their pledges of support, along with our existing patrons, contribute to the creation of these videos in so many ways. Thank you.